So now, from now on, we're speaking in English. Yeah. It's good for you. Okay. Hello. Uh, just a small introduction. I'm sitting here with Milos Tomic. He is a filmagia, which means filmmaker, uh, and he does very interesting things. I will put the links to his work uh, in this video, mm -hmm. and also does creative workshops for filmmaking. So yeah, hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> can you um, can you tell me about your first memories of making anything? Well, yeah, but you know, there is so many, lol, so many stories when you ask such like this. But yeah. I will tell you one, one yeah, thing. Yeah, maybe one that stands out. I was five years old, and I was in uh, my grandmother's uh, village. Maybe we should. We should. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right now, closing the window. Oh. Technical reparations. Yeah. At the same time. <laughs> <coughs> so. Five years old, south of Serbia, small village, not abandoned village, but you know, kind of, you know, village with a with a lot of uh, um, trash and thrown objects in the backyards. You can imagine, like a, what's the name of the village? Uh, Grgure. Grgure. Near Niš in that area. So it was a summer, and the grass was uh, dry and kind of, you know, on, on to the ground, and I was. Uh, I was uh, playing with uh, one guy that is um, some some neighbors and somehow it seems like you know boring uh, long warm day S somehow you know what what to do then and somehow then but it was he, that guy you know idea he said let let's collect those um, old uh, thrown uh, boxes of cigarettes yes and in that time in socialistic U Yugoslavia those were really like a uh, colorful like a uh, something between, uh, let's say, s modernistic and psychedelic, socialistic design and so on. Yeah. I didn't talk about that, of course, then, but for me it was only like a colorful various... But I think it was like at the yard and nothing there. But slowly, we were, you know, digging a little bit and there and there, somehow and find, you know, the red one, the, the question mark one, the Drina and all, all those bond, yeah. uh, all those uh, cigarettes packs in that time. And somehow, after maybe half an hour, we we found many, maybe 20, 30 of them, you know, so dig them from here and there. And we put them on this uh, wire for uh, for uh, meat, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and somehow it was real, like a, it was a box uh, um, <clears throat> for, how to explain, <clears throat> where you put the, the meat to, to, to yeah, bake like them. A sh yeah, like a roast for mm -hmm. roasting meat. And we were like a psh, 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 all, all those boxes and maybe three three lines through the three wires. And it was, you know, for me it was really something beautiful. You know, make uh, out of nothing. You know, find it here that something that was trash. Now in that frame of uh, uh, Rostil box. Yeah. And I don't know, when I, when I think uh, back from time to time, like this was really for me like the first really in like a wow, you know, something out of nothing, something beautiful out of ordinary, thrown, neglected things. Yeah. And somehow this was the formula for many things that I did after or that I start to do um, years after, you know, to try to find uh, some kind of uh, beauty, poetry, let's say so in a um, small neglected everyday things and so on. Nice, nice. Yeah. What's the story of, um, I don't know, yeah, maybe your education, like how did you get into, how did you decide to, to follow through with all of that? You know, mm. a little bit of a big question, but just maybe you can give us a quick, like, then this, then this, then this. Yes, and this, all right. And I was a little bit jealous on one of my friend at pr primary school, you know, okay. whatever he, said he want somehow I was jumping I wanted as well <laughs> and he mentioned one film directing you know filmmaking he never he never did he she just he just mentioned it once yeah, yeah. and I jumped to see what, what what is it and somehow I like it very much and continue continue but somehow I'm not this uh, straightforward classical like film director because before it I started with a little bit of drawing uh, paper collage which yeah. I continue to do for years collecting of objects and um, but somehow film is uh, something where I could put all those things you know people that I meet some spaces that I found stories and um, education I I start to to watch films as, as a craze you know 
even make false uh, press cards for Kino Kinoteca. Uh -huh. Well, one girl seduced the the son of the chief of the Kinoteca, okay. but she didn't care about movies, but she got this and I changed, you know, name and put my photo. So I saw like thousands of films so there. So you could see movies for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, it happened very often that uh, only somebody else and me, just two people came to the show. Yeah. And they don't want to uh, sh play films if they are not five people. So uh, okay. many times it happened that two of us bought five tickets, you know, so the film started. Uh, <laughs> so. And I, I went to the um, uh, course, small film, like school courses called Square, <coughs> like three, three levels. And then I entered the uh, first private school film direction. <coughs> and, but I was listening something on you know, art academy, even, even this uh, religious school, I, I was listening one, one subject. And in a uh, national film academy, I was there too. Somehow I combined few schools with uh, the best lecture too. And then I studied uh, in Prague. Okay. so-called uh, multimedia animation what whatever that means <laughs> but it was great because even more I could uh, choose from all departments all years the things that, that I I'm, uh, like very much and then yeah school sent me a little bit in Madrid in Mer Berlin okay. and how did you how did the being in a foreign country with foreign languages how did that influence your work uh, <coughs> I l learned, I had to learn Czech in uh, two months. In two months. Because what? it was, uh, if I would learn it, if I learn it, then, then school would be for free. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I really, you know, but, and it's close, like Czech, Czech languages. It was great, really. Like, uh, I felt like in Disneyland for a few first years, for first few years. Yes, and many things somehow like open, like friends, and we did some good things, and it traveled to festival, and I met many people. It was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, what about your parents? Did, were they supportive of, of Very making much. Yeah. It's really like, it seems like, you know, you are just doing, you would do it anyway, but no way, you know. I really realized that if they wouldn't support me, I would do maybe half of the things, even less. Oh, uh, yeah. Because <clears throat> it's interesting how parents. You know, different families, different parents. Some parents are pretty, I don't want to say oppressive, but they don't. And other parents are, are very, very supportive, you know. Even though they know realistically, like, okay, there's going to be some maybe financial, you know, it's it's going to be a bumpier ride. <coughs> but uh, No, somehow they, they have serious jobs, you know. Yeah. <coughs> My mother worked in a bank, father is a machine engineer. Okay. <coughs> Although when I start to study film direction my father told me that when he come came to Belgrade he liked very much films of the Purisha Djordjevic and okay. French New Wave okay. and somehow he wanted to but some to study film direction okay. but it was like too unserious you know he had yeah, to find yeah. something how do they like your work they always ask come on you know when when will you make something like with a sense you know something <laughs> with, with a with a with a meaning and you know i remember they always my mother always co commented like when she entered the room and see me, you know, like cutting the collages and saying, like, ah, uh -huh, you're uh, again like playing. Playing. And <clears throat> back then, because I took it like a really serious, what I do, I, I was, I didn't like those comments. But somehow after, I, I really, I, I, I like it. Yes, I, I still, I still do play. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. What about, um, so the workshops that you do, this is a stop trick animation. Maybe you can explain to us a little bit what that is mm -hmm. and then how you how did you get into doing workshops? By chance, because uh, during this PhD studies, I had to have one uh, lecture. Okay. And somehow it was not bad, you know, and somebody who were there asked me after uh, would I like to do a workshop on festival and it started with a stop trick workshop. But then there is maybe five various about various things, not only about an stop trick animation. And somehow recently I've been in Prague again to have a workshop and it was uh, like international people, like stories from India, Poland, French. And somehow I was thinking like those really special people, you know, coming there, sharing stories and one more workshop and everything is like a messing in my head and I will, I will forget it. You know, I will mix those people with the workshop from before and, and somehow before sleep I try to remember all the places th that where I had uh, workshops yeah. of various kinds like and I remember nearly all and it was like 
26 towns and uh, more than 550 workshops in in last maybe 7 8 years yeah, yeah. and i was really happy that somehow it was not all mixed in my head so i did remember you know then town and little by little of people and some stories who are the people that go to the workshops <clears throat> mostly well whoever want not necessary art students yeah. or um, sometimes like maybe extreme was uh, uh, some problematic teenagers in the suburbs of Dresden you know no no job no money no girlfriend somehow it but we made something that I don't know they they had a fun and I, re I remember like one guy that was that behaved like bully very much in, in this group and somehow he reacted most uh, on some really delicate thing that I, I, I was surprised you know yeah. because when you watch something then somebody was you know talk, making some sounds here shut up shut up shut up and what I showed it's really like some animation of the woman's hair or something really let's say like a feminist it's stupid to say yeah. but it was I really didn't expect that he would look carefully so, something it li he didn't look like this so this was maybe one extreme and another was in a in Myanmar some you know they look like some you know old teacher or some woman that are selling groceries <laughs> here in the Belonova market you know they were there they were laughing you know and covering their their mouth this was an, another extreme what kind of stories do they make when they make the movies usually do they work together um, yeah, yeah. This workshop about uh, there in in Burma, uh, it was not about stop trick. They were they were making collectively short short films. Okay. So they came with their own like very simple uh, s stories, while uh, in other cases it's mostly about uh, them to get the logic of animation, what it can do, and then like don't without worrying about some big meaning or okay, message to try okay, to use okay, okay. you know try to use this magic that stuff trick nice. can can do for example so it's you showing them giving them a tool and then whatever they will make whatever story they make so they know how to use the tool yes and somehow it is a i hope it's as well about inspiration so like mm. if they don't want to do movies like who cares but whatever they want to do it would be great to do it with kind of passion. Sure, sure. So sure. it's about that more than than about technique. But you know, you need to have some kind of you know title or something concrete to give them, and hopefully it is like basics of the animation or yeah. logic of animation. I saw <coughs> on your website <coughs> that um, you said that the process can be very slow and boring about putting all the photos. Um, what happens when? when those people that are doing the workshop they have to do the slow and boring process is it is mm. it difficult for them is it but even it don't have to be as uh, i when i when i tell this i imagine like days and days you know when 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 i did some films but if if you come to some simple idea you know and they are acting and i don't know for example now if, if i like chop 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 and in that moment instead of you <coughs> you and your brother appear and like move a little bit so let's say I split you into the two of, of uh -huh. your cousins or you and your brother some somehow you as a body as a as a you know human being put yourself in, in some like various physical position as uh -huh. well and sometimes it's even even more how to say extreme you know hanging from somewhere or <coughs> or you know I, I buried myself to the ground in one film and only like only the, the <laughs> face was uh, watching from the from the grass and really this is a situation where that you normally don't go like nobody stops you you couldn't do it but somehow you know I I waited for this approval from the script and then like it become like normal thing to do and like something that I will do so them as well like uh, in those small uh, slapstick mostly slapstick comic animation they put themselves in a somehow new new positions and them um, not so then it's maybe in, in editing while you're waiting to render and yeah, 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 yeah. but while we are shooting and that's fun so is it um do they go to that moment where they realize oh we can do many things is it is it very fast or does it take you a while to to get them to open up and realize like oh we can do 
you know, that the possibilities are very wide. I think from the <clears throat> all other technique of animation, this is the, you see result faster. Okay. You, you don't need to know anything, you know, just as I told you, like to a little bit get this logic of animation and then let's say, you know, in a, in a 15 minutes even, you know, you can do like chop, 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 and then in one moment, I don't know, let's say like tup, 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 ping, instead of this, it's this, you know, yeah. this finger continue and this turn into you know, change something to something. And this at least, you know, the small thing like this, when you watch it in the photo camera, do 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 do, forward, backward. Yeah. And somehow I I, ne I can, I never can, uh, I always make some sounds when I watch it somehow instinctively. And yeah. then really I could watch it backward and forward m few times, many times, even if it's, it's such a simple thing, you know, like uh, that trick that Melies invented 100 years ago. But somehow for me, at least it still works. Is Melius the French guy that did the one going to the trip to the moon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He invented this technique, let's say, by chance, you know, camera, or at least this is a story. Yeah. You know, that when he was recording something, camera cracked, and w he it takes him a minute to, you know, repair it, and then when he continues shooting, what was uh, in one moment in front of the camera, now it was something else, and somehow it turned, you know, he realized, aha, uh -huh, like, like a human human brain makes something that uh, gap in between you know yeah. between the this glass and this somehow it it m do this metamorphosis if it's enough similar and if it's enough different then yeah. then it, it works this magic works cool you were mentioning sound that you're always doing sound and I know that you also you play instruments pretty bad but I really like it yeah what's the relation between music and, and, and filmmaking for you well, picture is playing as well, uh, and then sometimes there were some filmmakers that say like uh, those like intentionally silent movies because picture already with the movement, color, rhythms like uh, have some have that like uh, it pro provoke sounds in the brain. But yeah, I do. I it's un my unful big unfulfilled wish, and somehow maybe you cannot uh, have all those parallel lives, you know, to to do cooking, to be a world traveler, like a lover, <laughs> like many women do film, music, and somehow you need to decide. And for me, when I found uh, some alibi to make film about something, let's say film about music, then then I can, you know, n then I can do, do those two things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But somehow, yeah, I cannot succeed at <laughs> What, um... So you're making stories about something that maybe you would also like to do in, yeah. in another life. Mm -hmm. That's cool. What about um, what? What's the function of a story? I, I I feel like there's two things about your work that is focus on detail that most people don't see, mm -hmm. and also about discarded objects that people don't want to use anymore. Are you stealing stealing the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the paper clips now? Mm -hmm. And also stories about people. <clears throat> Do you bring these ideas also in your workshops and, and, and the idea of a storyline? Well, to tell you the truth, uh, my biggest problem is are the stories. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, like um, friends that told me, like, that know me for years, told me, come on, you know, take the most simple stories and you do it your way, it will work. And sometimes, you know, I really put a lot of effort to make things, how to say, like a special and visual and so on. But then I, uh, on the way I, I lost like w what it was about. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. And yeah, mm, not all, I want to say like people like stories, not, not only this, but when I don't have somebody, you know, to give me a few slaps, it's better on the beginning, like a dramaturg or a script, script writer, screen player that I <laughs> work with. Then I have it in in editing, you know, somebody say, like, you know, stop it, you know, you, like it's too much or he tell me or she editor or like somebody say like we miss something and then send me outside, you know, to bring that new material that, okay. that is missing. If I don't have this, I'm I, I lose myself, you know, in, in this movie. So it's usually external, like another person kind of helping you out with this. But yes, yes, yeah. I, I don't do everything by, by myself. Is it, uh, is it easy for you to collaborate with people? Um, 
to collaborate in a sense to to work in a group hard i would like to to be somehow lighter in that way but to collaborate like one one by one to have a how to say work on idea or like bring idea and work with a screenplay or then like uh, with a camera guy and with the editor i adore them you yeah. know simply i i would you know clean the shoes for my editor <laughs> like do what whatever you know cook for them because when i find somebody who like get this like where it's going this vision let's say so yeah. and then you know just lift it more I, i'm like you know in love is it very person. difficult to find somebody that understands uh no it's not only the thing is that how you know time passing and those people are growing and have a family and need a you know somehow how to say more i don't want to say like more more money for it but somehow they're in situation where they need to but then they don't have so much time yeah, yeah. and then then i need to search for a, an, another maybe some younger and and it's always funny especially for editors because like most of the last thing that i do are really very much made in in uh, in a uh, editing room then you know when i need to choose somebody else it's nearly like you know this first editor for example one guy that i really love to work with but he's now living in cadiz and so on and then it's nearly like a like in love relation i would never find you know somebody as good as as yeah, him yeah, yeah, yeah. and then but but i i like to try so when when you're working in the workshops with the people and and they have to work together and maybe they have problems with working together do you have any advice for them or you just let them deal with it or well this is a 3-4 day yeah. workshop not not longer and somehow we don't dig as much you know into the stomach it's it's not a, as a, what i want to say it's not a as uh, pathetically you know we don't do something like personal works of 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 art i encourage them you know to spit their personality crazy ideas what but it is not a, how to say it's a little bit l- l- lighter of course like the this chemistry of like various characters sometimes it's it's not easy easy you know sometimes it don't work but somehow it's more about uh, mixing stories mixing experiences Let, let's try this if it's not work <laughs> you know, I, I trying to some, somehow you know change them in a group, but it's funny you know, even if it seems like only like a good fun you know we we are watching the things inspiring things sharing stories like mostly laughing a lot really, but then after each day I'm completely like um, because it's not easy you know you have let's say fifteen sometimes seven sometimes twenty something in Italy it, it's always like twenty five yeah. people like yeah. in Milano it was a few times a lot. And then you have really various characters and somehow to take their attention and somehow to, how to say, like tuning, uh, you know, tune yourself according to various characters yeah. fast, al- alive, you know, in, in real time. It, it's uh, it's devastating yeah, at the end of the your day. Your attention is just 100% all yeah, the time. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I, I like it. I don't know. Fun, yeah. mm. um, how do you define if a, if a workshop is successful? Like, do you have some kind of ideal product that says like, oh, this was a good workshop? Yeah, and the funny thing is that um, if, do you count result or do you count inspiration, you know, some kind of kick yeah. to those people and then the things that they will continue to do is a result of the workshop? Sure, sure. Or if you just uh, look at, the, you know, what we did, some, for example, somebody two years after uh, take a look at this uh, small collage animation that, that we do and said well this animation is, is not as special or do you count this like a uh, how to say spirit that that was uh, atmosphere that was all those yeah, days yeah, yeah. I'm I'm thinking of, you know for years can I uh, should I maybe you know press from the beginning to make better result but let's say I could came with a, some kind of script and yeah. that's like we will do this it will be like more condensed and but somehow I for me the the goal is you know to inspire people you know so sure. then we'll do uh, after workshop continue to do or maybe sometimes start to do just an animation and you know to somehow to make or provoke this honest uh, exchange of experiences and so on yeah maybe just excuse 
why we don't do like a super movie that uh, after three days that will travel festival but it's not so easy you no, know it's not easy at all <laughs> mostly results are how to say charming in in the best way in a, in the best case uh, but we didn't make like a we didn't succeed to make like a good animation film after three days yeah. I don't know okay how so this you've been doing for seven years the workshops mm, yeah maybe eight, eight nine mm. have you noticed that you've improved in the seven years like does the Milos from now have any advice for the Milos from I seven always years make the ago? same mistake and yeah. I think it's okay <laughs> uh, what are the mistakes you make uh, let me see. Um, sometimes I'm I'm too like psh, you know about we started about everything and then like just slowly c coming to the. Um, but again, it's, it's it's according to to people. You know, you scan what situation sure, you have sure, in front sure. of you. What I moved, it's I add some three or four more other workshops that are let's say like uh, one is called animation commanders, which is like making drawing animation in impossible cir circumstances. Okay. For example, th this is ev even more fun because really, you know, they they try to draw in, uh, you know, like in many uh, physical or time stretch uh, situation that mimic all those daily problems that somehow you said, oh, I, I cannot do some animation or whatever, like because I don't have time, because I broke my leg, because I'm stretching the bus, you know, and somehow we try to reconstruct all those situations and show and see that not not only that you can do, let's say, your, your one more drawing and one more drawing of animation sure, sure. in those situations, but then in, those, in these circumstances, some new uh, visual quality appear, yeah. just because, you know, of, of this, um, uh, how to say, this l l lack of comfort. And sure, so sure, sure, sure. For example, this is cool, one. Cool. You're also a father, yeah? Mm. Ha does this have any influence on your work? Yeah, very much, very much. Huh. But let's say in last five years or oh, three years, I'm the most thing that I did was like together with, with my son. Uh, well, it's of course, it's crazy inspiring because, you know, something is blooming and somebody is uh, watching everything with a new and very much how to say subver subversive look because you know no, because nothing is sane for him yeah, you know? yeah. I remember yesterday we were in a bakery and there was a woman you know like doing doing like like like, like this you know looking at something you know to choose some sandwich and you know he came you know close to her ass like wanting to do this <laughs> and somehow I, I had to stop him even I want to do it, man. You know, <laughs> I wanted to do it as well. But why? Why? Did, why I stop him? And somehow, and I saw hear myself, you know, kind of, you know, preaching him how you cannot <laughs> do whatever you want. And I want to do it as well. You know, and so, yes, yes, yes. Well, we did. So maybe it's exploitation. You know, I, exp I exploit him a lot in those uh, musical diaries, like yeah. those first part, five parts that we did. But again, somehow for me, it was a somehow place where we could meet each other. So we are together, playing, exploring, and in the same time, little by little, we are making uh, something. So <coughs> now he's famous for his quote: "Ne, ne, ne, ine." <laughs> no, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he really don't want to be filmed anymore. No. So I, but I will find some other way. Still, I'm a little <laughs> bit more clever than than him. So. Cool. Well, thank you so much for talking today and uh, good luck with everything. And hopefully the next movie is about musical traumas. Yeah, it's in the beginning. <laughs> it's going to be a good one, I think. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>